Okay, here's the story. My wife uh, called me, calls me up. The car had abandoned her on the side of the road. I started, I tried to get it started. It wouldn't run, had no power. It uh, got worse as it uh, got hotter and uh, I could barely get it to move. And it took basically a, uh, about an hour, better part of an hour just to get it home. I had done some other work on it, so I didn't know what the problem was. Um, thought might be, maybe it was a fuel pump, maybe it was um, a computer issue, uh, maybe it was injectors. I had all kinds of codes that were recorded in the course of trying to get it home. Uh, pulled live data off the computer, said the vacuum was fine, said the fuel line pressure was fine. Um, erased all the codes and ran it and tried to get it. It had some misses. It, had, it was missing. Uh, the missing seemed to be random, uh, but it seemed to be uh, a number of cylinders missing. I checked the spark on the cylinders by pulling off the uh, uh, coil on plug wires one at a time. And it was very difficult to detect which cylinders were missing. Starting idle fine, but it wouldn't uh, accelerate in neutral or in park, it wouldn't um, accelerate above maybe a 2,700 to 3,000 RPM. And it was acting, in doing so, it was acting like it was uh, tied to a tree or something. Um, just had no power. Uh, so uh, after talking with my brother and a few other people, um, uh, even getting on the Ford forums, uh, my brother and I decided that it must be a clogged catalytic converter. But the only way I could tell if it was clogged uh, was to um, take it all apart. I could have had it towed, I guess, to a repair shop. But um, you know, that could have cost me a fortune in diagnostic because uh, the only code I got that, that made any sense was a lean fuel mixture code on bank one, um, which were a number of codes pointing to injector issues and, and uh, call on plug issues and um, things of that nature. So um, there was nothing that really said, oh, it's a clogged catalytic converter. Uh, none of the codes that were ever received said pointed to that specifically and didn't even hardly hint at it. The only thing that hinted at a clogged catalytic converter was the, in the inability of it to accelerate or to rev higher than, than 2,700 RPM. I uh, bought an aftermarket Y pipe assembly online and um, bit the bullet and said I'm just gonna have to take it off and replace it and uh, let the results be the troubleshooting and the solution at the same time. Um, I'm really disappointed in the Y-pipe assembly that I got from Evans and Fisher. Uh, don't buy that one. There's another one that's actually sold and I bought that one at carparts.com. There's another one that's sold on Amazon a lot more um, uh, shade tree mechanic friendly in trying to install it. Um, so uh, this is what the Y-pipe assembly looks like before I took after it with a, um, a reciprocating saw and just cut it out because I couldn't take it out uh, without, without removing the transmission cross member and um, that was too difficult a job. And the new Y-pipe assembly was supposed to, came in three pieces to expressly to um, make it installable without removing the cross member. If you can get the piece on the right side in, which has a hanger bracket that prevents you from doing so, uh, you're a better person than me because I couldn't, I can't get it in. And I'm going to have to cut that hanger off the back side to be able to get the right pipe in and maybe get a muffler shop to weld that little piece back on for me or to install some other kind of bracket on there to hang. This is the catalytic converter on the uh, passenger side, the right side, uh, you can see that uh, you can see clear through it. This is my best shot of the catalytic converter uh, from the manifold connection end of the uh, left side converter. And you can see the honeycomb, tightly spaced honeycomb uh, pattern of the uh, catalyst. Here's a picture of the of the uh, of the exit end of that same left side catalytic converter. You can see this, um, it's ringed by a wadding, a packing, if you will. It's apparently what seals it around the outer edges where it comes in contact with the canister. 
Here are the contents of what I poured out of the pipe after I cut it off. And uh, this material was found on the engine side of the third catalytic converter. You can see the honeycomb nature of that material there. And that was where it came in contact with the wall of the canister that holds it. This looks like that packing material that uh, I showed a minute ago. And all that stuff had was uh, accumulated up against the front part of the um, third or um, downstream most catalytic converter. Now this is looking at the downstream end of the third catalytic converter uh, at, from the viewpoint of the tailpipe connection. Uh, it's hard to see because of the curvature of the pipe, but this is the other end of the third catalytic converter. This is the entrance end of the third catalytic converter, and this is where all that material I showed on that Amazon bag was packed in in front of this in here. And you can see that, uh, as best as you can see, that the honeycomb material has been packed and filled with the dirt and dirt and dust that accumulated when the packing inside the catalyst packing inside the um, right hand catalytic converter the passenger catalytic converter went downstream and and got trapped against the in the entrance end of this catalytic converter here's a closer up view of that plugged end of the third catalytic converter this is the upstream end the previous video was the downstream end where it looked nice.